I don't know how long you guys have been into this, but do you think that this is something that should be going on in this country? Do you, do you think this is something that should be going on in this country? <clears throat> this has been going on this, in this country for a lot of years. Our <clears throat> government is taking its orders from the New World Order, to my evaluation. Well, you know, people say New World Order, and I say, if that means the corporations are taking over, then yes, I believe in a New World Order. The, the, the two-party system in this country, you know, I heard Obama today say that Al-Qaeda is the number one threat to the U.S. The number one threat to the U.S. is the two-party corporate system. Um, they're really destroying us. So I, I ask that if this touched you, if this motivates you to do something, please do. Because people like Betsy and myself, we can't do this. We can't do it alone. You know? And this is just wrong. Why do you think that in your film, it says something about Bush having ground air missiles put on his hotel. You know, why, what, what was that about? If there is fishiness going on, why that kind of, let's pretend, let's pretend, I mean. There was another report that said Pentagon brass uh, canceled a flight on the morning of 9-11 because they were warned not to fly. That was reported in Newsweek on two separate occasions. To my knowledge, it's never been elaborated on since then. Um, there are so many indications that they knew the day. Uh, Patty Casas, a 9-11 family member, a Jersey girl, she was in the movie. She gave a talk in November of 2007. She talked about whistleblowers who came forward to the Jersey girls in the hopes that they would get them in front of the 9-11 commission. Because um, they wanted to be subpoenaed, I think because if you're subpoenaed, you can't be retaliated against. So they were hoping the 9-11 Commission would subpoena them. Thomas Keene promised Patty Casaza to her face that each and every whistleblower would be heard, and hardly any of them were heard. But the information that, that they had, uh, according to Patty, is that this government knew the day, the target, and the type of attack. So I ask you, you know, what could they do with that kind of knowledge to ensure that the, 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 the attacks were a success, which they were? So, go ahead. Hi, John. I'm Marta. Um, a lot of this information is not necessarily new to me, but my passion about it is is, is fairly recent, as Betsy would know, because I've been emailing her back and forth. And my question is always, um, how, how do you get more people educated in this? How do you get them more involved? Well, how do you... Um, <coughs> I, I know that in the, the brief few weeks or so as I started talking to certain people, I met with so much sarcasm and skepticism. I was surprised because the evidence is overwhelming that something is being covered up. Well, so, what, you're, what you're talking about is nationalist faith. Uh, people yeah. don't want to believe that their government can do, do such a thing. how do you penetrate that? How do you start to I do it. I, I, it? I just bring up other examples of things this government has done. I mean, look at this government. This government lied about the air quality down at Ground Zero, exactly. and thousands of sick and dying 9-11 first responders are out there. You know, they, they were using chemical weapons in Iraq, uh, depleted uranium in Iraq. Our soldiers are getting sick. Um, my God, they lied us into war. They lied us into war. And you're going to tell me that these people wouldn't be capable of doing something like 9-11, it just, um, you know, look, go back through history, the Gulf of Tonkin. Go ahead. I think what's been going on forever is people in office screw up, they're incompetent, they don't pay attention, and things get dropped, and horrible things happen, and everybody tries to cover that up. I think what people are suspicious about when you try to approach them about this is the conspiracy that this was done for somebody's profit or some corporation's profit or something. And I still don't see anything that's consistent there. I mean, obviously there's lots of lying going on in the government, and I don't think that's very big news. And I, I, I you know, that's maybe why people aren't that interested in that aspect. I don't think it. that these individuals are incompetent. They wanted to go to war. They went to war. Okay. They wanted why? to, hold on, let me finish. They wanted to make... 
billions for their corporate friends, they managed to do that. They wanted to expand an executive power by a thousand, and they managed to do that. They've committed so many crimes in the last eight years and have been Teflon coated. These people are not incompetent. They know exactly what they're doing. Okay, I'm going to say that, that there was a conspiracy to, to, to take the towers down. I think it was for strategic reasons. They wanted to get into the Middle East, and they needed a false flag operation. They needed, you know, a self-inflicted wound, just like Hitler did with the Reichstag and, and the Gulf of Tonkin. I think that was planned. I think elements in our government were involved. Who and why? And, and the money was just like, um, the money was just a bonus. You know, it wasn't just for the money, but, no, no, but you get those. I think it was strategic. When you start to think of things in a geopolitical sense, it starts to make sense. Um, it still doesn't make sense to me for this reason. First of all, you can keep a secret between three people and two of them are dead. And the other thing, there's just no way they could have done that on a massive which is thing and kept it secret among all of them. Have you ever heard of the Operation Northwoods? The, Sir, the, the collapse of the towers. Have you ever heard and, of Operation uh, Northwoods? Uh, there's an old poster out west. Operation Northwoods was a plan devised in 1962 for uh, by the Joint Chiefs of Staff to attack Americans, blame it on Cuba, to give us a reason to go into Cuba. That document was kept secret for 40 years. They have the ability to keep secrets. But if you're talking about the Joint Chiefs of Staff, you do something like this and said, well, look, why have we not connected with Martin? Well, people have come forward, and there's been a lot of whistleblowers, but they're just shut down. Psychological operation. And the, the, the reset, this, this was planned, too. I sold all my stock knowing that this was planned. This was planned for this fall. I had people telling me the date last spring and this summer that it was going to happen. And all my friends who were involved in Wall Street just thought it, I was a, a joke talking about it. I sold a lot of stock. And, uh, and it happened. It's just, it's, it's freaky. I mean... <laughs> Are they playing this now? It's supposed to come on at seven, exactly. Yeah. Um, this is coming on. Uh, thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you for coming tonight. I think you're doing a great thing. Thank you. We're just trying to get to the truth, whatever it is.